am I in an interracial relationship if I have a black partner? Would it be considered an interracial relationship if he was Hispanic? Is it all based on skin color? I'm like a, I don't know, I'm kind of yellow right now. I need a tan. Damn. Like an almond color. Does interracial relationship really apply to mixed people? Hey guys, welcome to my bedroom. I'm Bella. I've been wanting to do an episode against this wall for some a really long time actually and so let me know what you think hopefully the lighting's not too terrible hopefully I figured it out because so today's episode we're talking about interracial relationships and interracial dating and in case you haven't noticed I am mixed my mom is Mexican like her family is from Mexico like my grandparents do not speak English and my dad is the story goes my dad is black Dutch Portuguese Cherokee and my grandpa is supposedly from Barbados, but I don't know. So anyway, we're all mixed up. That whole family tree has a lot of interracial connections. I'll be honest, I've always wondered if their connection was some weird type of fetishism that they have. Like if my dad really liked Latin women and my mom really likes black men and had some jungle fever. Like I've always grappled with that idea, but the byproduct was me. Hello. And throughout my family, there are a lot of mixes. I have cousins who are half Vietnamese, I have nephews who are white. So yeah, like mixing in my family is not a taboo subject or taboo thing to do. My family is very open and accepting to all of that and I'm super grateful for it because I've never felt isolated like a lot of mixed people do. So with all that being said, it would be pretty dumb for me to harbor any ill feelings towards interracial relationships of any kind. And yet, sometimes I do. I'm not gonna lie, I am sometimes kind of taken aback by certain mixes. More often than not, it is a black man or woman with a white counterpart. It's just, it's strange to me to even feel that way at any point. Like even if it's a fleeting thought, it's just so strange to me. I'll be the first to admit my reasoning behind it is purely racist, like, or prejudice if we're gonna be PC, but no, it is, it's kind of racist to harbor certain feelings about another person because of the color of their skin. And yeah, when I see a black man or a black woman with a white counterpart, I'm just kind of like, uh, historically, no, wait, what? Okay. It brings up all kinds of emotions and feelings and questions. And yeah, it's, it's ignorant as fuck to think like that, I think. And then somebody might pop up in here and say, but Bella, you dated a white man. First off, let's start here. I'm black again. So for me to date within my race, I'm gonna need to find another black again. Like at this point, everybody I've dated is outside my race. Secondly, race is a social construct. It doesn't actually exist. And third, yes, I did date a white man. And yeah, it was magical. I was so hesitant to talk to him, let alone go on a first date, solely because he was white. Like I really had an issue with the color of his skin. I really just didn't want to date him because of all these prejudiced thoughts that I had of we're not going to connect, he's not going to know what the fuck I'm talking about, like I'm going to be so bored, whatever the, whatever the thoughts were. I was also just so worried about what other people would think. So early on when we started dating, I would, you know, talking about him to other people or somebody would ask me like, oh, tell me about this new guy. I would start by saying like, oh, he's really nice. We hang out, we have a lot of things in common. It's crazy, he's like, he's white. And I got so many people coming back to me like, okay. And I think the more people that were like, and that's so, then it made me realize like, oh yeah, like that doesn't need to be said all the time. Like it doesn't really matter. There were people that came back and were like, really? And I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> but for the most part, no one cared. I think it has a lot to do with being in LA because we are so diverse here and there is such a mixture of people that it's not really so taboo. And I would imagine in other parts of the country, it is a bit more taboo, but it was never an issue. And so the more that people around me made it a non-issue, the more I realized that my issues around it were absolute bullshit. I think another thing that made me very hesitant was this idea or this notion that people have that, you know, if you date a white person, they'll, they'll treat you better. I don't think that's particularly true. I think your relationship is based, like how good your relationship is, is based on both people's maturity, how they were raised, 
the boundaries they've set, the communication they have. Like it has nothing to do with race or culture. I wasn't treated any better because he was white. I was treated better because he was a good man and some of the people prior weren't. Like that had nothing to do with his skin color. At the end of the day, like bruh, we're talking about skin color. Skin color? We're talking about skin color. We ain't talking about the game. We're talking about practice, man. A lot of people ask, were there ever any disconnects? Like, did you guys ever disconnect on things because of your culture? Now, I do think it's very important to give a disclaimer. The white man that I previously dated is very much woke or cultured, whatever the fuck the kids are saying now. He grew up in a time of heavy hip hop in the 80s, and that's what he grew up on. And just living in that environment and being in, immersed in that culture like that's who he is he very much understands black culture and he lives and works within black cultures so in my opinion i think there were a lot more similarities because of that i haven't dated a traditionally white person whatever the fuck that means and honestly i think that has a lot to do with there not being any um points of contention or any disconnects the one thing that i will say though is that there are certain delicate nuances that only black people or people of color understand and i personally believe white people are less inclined to understanding them they're not incapable of it but they're less inclined to understanding it because they've never had to so it's kind of those subtle aggressions things that really stir up a lot of emotion like black hair for example were topics that he just didn't understand or feel as passionately about those are really specific emotionally triggered things that only people of color who have experienced it can really understand and so sometimes there was a disconnect on subjects like that but the really important thing is that he was willing to listen and to learn and to understand. One of my biggest tips for people in interracial relationships is taking the time to listen and learn and understand because everybody's reality is different and it is based on culture, whether it be the food or the music. Take some time to understand your partner's reality. The only instance of resistance that I've ever gotten in my interracial relationship came from my exes being like, I can't believe you dated a white man. I know that that's a weird issue for black men, like, bruh, you just, you gotta get over it. And at the end of the day, I'm mixed and you had no problem dating me, so let's talk about it. You wanna talk about it? Okay. For anybody that believes that dating a white person or dating somebody outside your race is going to make your life better, I would tell you that you are in the wrong game. At the end of the day, date whoever you want, but a great relationship is with somebody who loves and listens and cares for you and is a good person. I think we have to acknowledge that at this point we're all mixed up and in the future there's going to be even more mixed up people and think of all the blessings that you're blocking by being subtly racist. Why would you do that to yourself? Don't block your blessings. Enjoy. Variety is the spice of life. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me once again. I hope you didn't mind my like loungy Sunday wear. This is what I felt like wearing today. I hope it wasn't too distracting. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. If this episode stirred up some emotions in you, please comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about interracial relationships. I want everybody, no matter what your race, your creed, your religion, to have a beautiful, amazing day filled with light and love and compassion for others. Thanks again, you guys, so, so much. Have an amazing day. Bye.